Have you ever been in a situation where you have a use case, where you have a grid, and you want to allow your end users to edit the data in the grid, however, for some reason or another, you've been given a directive where you must launch a separate form that contains various text editors, labels, and other controls that represent the current row to allow a certain type of end user experience for editing. Well, you can always pop up a form and pass objects around, you know, create and design your own form that represents the row of a grid. But what Infragistics has built to save you a lot of time and to give you a lightweight and elegant solution is what we call the WinGrid Row Edits template. And that's what I'm going to show you how to use today and how easy it is to get started with that. So to get started, let's go into the Visual Studio toolbox and locate the control name in the Visual Studio toolbox is called Ultra Grid Row Edit Template. So if you look at it in the documentation, it's called the WinGrid Row Edit Template, and that goes for all of our controls for Windows Forms, if you've noticed that. So let's double click on this control and get it onto the form. Before it gets onto the form, notice what happens. A wizard pops up, and it allows us to customize this Row Edit Template. So let's say if I click on the grid that's available to me now, which is only one grid on my form, and it's visible here. So click on Grid and notice how it recognizes the three entities that are within this particular grid. So I'm dealing with customers, orders, and order details. And what I'm doing is I'm choosing, or I'm, I'm, I'm hooking up this row edit template to the customers band. And the cool thing is that I could drop a few more row edit templates on here and assign each row edit template to a specific band, and that's how it works. So I'm going to hook up with customers now. The next, fee the next form that shows up here in the wizard is a form that allows me to selectively display all of the various fields of the grid of that particular entity of customer. And I could also generate the OK button and cancel button. So let's click finish. So what happened was this, this was generated right here. So this control was generated and it contains various other infragistics controls on it. It contains the various appropriate data type editors, like for example we have the numeric editor, we have the date time editor, and currency editors, where appropriate, wherever the data type makes sense for that type. So that's essentially what we have here. And it was automatically placed on the form for me. And all I need to do now is basically, you know, just customize it if I like, you know, change the appearance objects on that and so forth. So let's just run it right now and see what it looks like. So here's my grid, let's maximize it, and if I go to edit one of these cells, like that, I just click on it, the template pops up immediately, so that's how it works, so it's associated with the different rows. Let's say if I want to edit the company name, I click on it, notice how because I clicked on this particular cell, the template pops up with editing focus ready to go, ready to rock and roll on company name, and then I could cancel or OK the changes. So I'm going to close this for a second and let's take a look at some of the properties on here on the row edit template. So there's various events that that exist here. So if I click on this, notice a lot of these are inherited properties, but there's, you know, just a bunch of other types of events that you know, could be, you know, handled for whatever reasons you need to achieve a certain type of programming logic. But essentially, if I could go to the appearance objects and I could change the appearances of the actual panel itself, so let's say for let's say if I wanted to do something like a back color, just to make it look a little different, so that you know I could see it clearly. So I'll do something like this. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is if I wanted to take the display mode and change it. So let's say I wanted to go to a pop up. You'll see how that works. So I have that set up, and that's basically you know some of the easier property settings. The other thing I want to do is let's add another one and show you what else you can do when you're working with bands that are um, lower and deeper into the grid. So let's double click on this again. Now we have another row edit template that gets added. And I'm going to hook this up with customers orders. Then click next. And these are the fields. And then I could also include fields from the parent band. So customer ID and company name. Let's trim this down a little just because there's too many fields and I don't want this video to become, you know, like where it's hard to see everything. But let's click finish. And here's my next one right here. So we'll put it over here. 
and now you can just kind of move it around a little bit. Let me resize it a little bit. And let's bring these guys down here. Move them all down. And then I'm going to just like resize these guys here. Company name and customer name. And customer ID. So then I could set like let's say the appearance on this. I could set you know, the font info and all that stuff. So let's say if I do font data, let's do bold and let's make this like 13 to make it a little bit bigger, you know, really large. And that's good for now just to show you some simple customizations. So, and now when I run it, and if I expand this here and I click on a customer, notice how I could still yeah, so this is a pop-up that I chose, so okay, click OK. So I got this, and you know I'm able to basically edit the fields. So notice how I have um, the daytime editors here. And if I go here, this is the um, various fields. And if I make changes, I could cancel, and then it doesn't make a change to the grid behind the scenes. So this is basically a quick getting started video so that way you know how to use the Rota template so that way you know if you're ever in a situation where I described earlier where you want to set some kind of form that pops up so that way when your end users are editing they get like the look and feel of a form you can always use the Rota template because it's easier to get up and running with and you don't have to worry about handling all the various events and by the way one thing that I almost forgot I don't I want to, don't want to finish this video unless I show you this I'm going to go into the code view of the form and show you that the wizard adds code and if I go down here to find it so right here so it adds basically adds this code here to close the template whether or not it's you clicked on OK or cancel so this is basically so true pushes the changes back into the grid and then false discards changes so because I have two templates added to the form, there's separate event handlers for each. So now that you know how to use it, I'm sure you'll find some great uses for the Rota template. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.